What's going on guys, I'm Mark Sanger from Techno Buffalo, and today we're gonna to be checking out iOS 8.3 beta on the iPhone 6. I've been using it for a couple days already, and so far it's been pretty stable. If you're an Apple developer and have access to Apple's dev portal, you should be able to see the download links for iOS 8.3. Uh, if you're not a developer, there's also a public beta available for iOS that's slowly being rolled out if you signed up to be a part of Apple's public beta program. So let's go ahead and see what's new in iOS 8.3. Uh, there's a new CarPlay section that's been added to the settings menu that makes it much easier to set up CarPlay wirelessly if you have a car that supports Apple's CarPlay. Now you can press and hold the voice control button on your steering wheel to start the CarPlay setup process. There's also new emojis and a new layout for Apple's keyboard. Apple's put all the emojis on a single scrollable page, which makes it much easier to pick emojis. Now, probably the biggest change here is that the emojis are now more diversified. You'll be able to choose from a variety of skin tones, from light to dark. And Apple also added a few new flags for different countries. There's also changes in Safari's keyboard. The space bar inside Safari is now much longer. The period and the go button are now much smaller, so you don't accidentally type like this. It was really annoying for me, and I'm glad Apple finally fixed this problem. There's also new Siri languages in Russian, Dutch, Swedish, Thai, Turkish, and more. And speaking of Siri, there's also a small but helpful change in iOS 8.3 regarding the Hey Siri function. You can now say, Hey Siri, call so-and-so on speaker. And it'll place that call automatically on speakerphone, which is super helpful. Whereas before, it wouldn't be able to do that action. And last but not least, there's messages list filtering. Uh, inside the messages settings, there's a new conversation list filtering option, which basically adds a tab inside the messages app, which separates messages from people in your contacts and everyone else. Let's say for example, you get a random text message from a number you don't know. It'll include that in the new tab, which you then can report as junk. And that apparently sends that report to Apple with the message details for review. Unfortunately, we don't know what that means. And that's about it. We'll keep you posted if there are any major changes in an upcoming beta or official release. Check us out at technobuffalo.com for more content. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure to hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next one.